Hello, welcome to this presentation. It is a guide to understanding the recently published fourth edition of the Brain Trauma Foundation guidelines for the management of severe traumatic brain injury. The latest guidelines and the related materials can be downloaded from the Brain Trauma Foundation website. The guidelines have been drawn from the published data. The authors of the guidelines have selected the relevant studies published in the literature. Then they have waded through to identify the class of evidence in each paper. Then they have looked at the body of evidence in the literature for each topic. Based on the robustness of the study design and the results of those studies, they have made recommendations on various aspects of the management of patients with severe head injuries. Based on the robustness of the design and execution of each study, the findings of each study had been classified into class 1, class 2 and class 3 evidence. The class 1 being the highest quality and class 2 being the moderate and the class 3 being the lowest quality of evidence. Good quality randomized control studies provide class 1 evidence whereas moderate quality randomized control studies and good quality cohort and case control studies provide class 2 evidence and class 3 evidence comes from low quality randomized control studies and moderate to low quality cohort and case control studies or case series and other non-comparative studies. After classifying class of evidence provided by study, the results of the studies have been aggregated along various aspects relating to management of severe head injury. This aggregate or body of evidence has then been classified into four categories high, moderate, low and insufficient. Based on the body of evidence from the literature, the authors have classified their recommendations into five levels. Level 1, Level 2A, Level 2B, Level 3 and insufficient. This is the most crucial slide you need to remember when you review the tables of recommendations in the BTF guidelines. The level 1 recommendation is arrived at from an high quality body of evidence, whereas level 2A recommendation is arrived at from moderate quality body of evidence. The important thing is that the level 2B and level 3 are arrived from available body of evidence that is of low quality. When there was insufficient body of evidence to recommend, the committee didn't make any recommendations. The BTF guidelines had addressed 18 topics related to management of severe head injuries and the total recommendations for these 18 topics was 28. The topics were divided into three groups on treatment, on monitoring and on thresholds. 
an example of a treatment that was addressed in the recommendations is decompressive craniectomy for intractably raised intracranial pressure following head injury. An example on monitoring was whether advanced monitoring should be used in the management of head injuries. An example of threshold is what should the ICP threshold be to intervene in patients with intractably raised intracranial pressure. In this slide, I will take you through how to interpret a recommendation given in one of the tables in the guidelines. The examples you see here is the cerebral perfusion pressure threshold. Is a recommendation on a threshold. A recommendation is given. However, the level of recommendation is 2B. That indicates that the recommendation is based on low quality body of evidence. So this recommendation is not necessarily robust. When a recommendation appears in bold, it means that the recommendation is either new or has been revised since the last edition. If the recommendation is in regular font, that means that the recommendation is the same as was from the previous edition, which was the third edition. So let's summarize. The fourth edition of the BTF guidelines only provide recommendations on specific topics related to management of patients with severe head injuries. What it does not do is provide complete protocol for management. That is, with this edition, there is no advice regarding first tier or second tier management. You could use the recommendations in the guide to formulate your own protocol and your tiers of management. However, I understand that the BTF is currently in the process of formulating complete protocols for management of severe head injury patients. Another break from the past is that there will be no future fifth edition of the guidelines. Instead, the guidelines will be updated and published on their website as new research becomes available. The most important aspect of this presentation is that you are aware that when you interpret the recommendations in the BTF guidelines to carefully look at what is the level of recommendation and to understand what is meant by level 1, level 2A, level 2B and level 3 recommendations. I hope you found this guide to the BTF guidelines for management of severe head injury useful. Should you have any questions? please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your kind attention. Wishing you a good day and bye for now.